Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, I've been dealing with working two jobs and I was out for the last month out of school or whatever and so other than that I guess I don't really have a reason to why I haven't filmed anything just procrastination and maybe a little bit of depression and anxiety all tossed in there and all that goodness um, but I'm back I'm gonna start doing more videos whether you like it or not but um, this video is just going to be me doing my uh, camo nail tutorial. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's it. I had a lot of people ask me to do video on how to do it. It's actually really simple. Um, I was lucky and I had a stamping plate that looks like camouflage and so it worked out for me. But I mean, you can literally just paint this on your nails. Do it freehand if you want to. Um, but yeah. I guess that's it. Um, make sure that y'all like and subscribe and leave me some comments below of what you want to see me do next. Um, I know I have two reviews planned, so those will probably come out next Saturday and then the following Saturday. So I've got like the two, two weeks booked, booked, like I'm fucking special or some shit. Um, planned out for that. Um, I guess with that being said, I hope you'll enjoy the video. And like I said, make sure you give me some likes and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you guys so much. And I missed you. My daughter just woke up and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Alright, enjoy. Bye y'all. All right, let's get started. I chose Infantry by Diplomatic Nails as my green for my base color on this mani and uh, for this design. I love this green, it's so pretty. It, it, it goes with so many different colors, it's not even funny. But um, doing a, this on a swatch stick, I didn't do a, a, base, a, a base of clear to begin with like I normally do on my own nails. And so I'm just doing three dips of this on the nails that I chose to actually do the nail design on. All right, now that the dips are done, I'm gonna activate, and I'm only gonna be activating this one time, and then I'll buff it, and then after that is when I start to actually get into the actual um, nail design portion of it.
actually also just to chime in and add that doing the pour over method with diplomatic powders is just like phenomenal it's it didn't really even need any buffing at all i just went ahead and did it out of sheer um i guess habit You'll actually see me grab the um, the gel base coat here, like I'm about to do it, and it's just, I don't know why I even grabbed it. I'm not ready for that stuff yet. <laughs> All right, here you'll see me just picking up the stamper, making sure that it's free of any lint or anything on it, because you don't want that to eventually transfer into your actual um, stamp. And then this is the stamp that I'm gonna be using. I actually received this from someone because it was actually damaged in transit to them, and so they just sent it to me. Um, and then you'll actually, um, I used acrylic paints for this. I used melted chocolate and then khaki from Apple Barrel. Um, I did way more than I expected or that I would have ever needed. Um, it just, I couldn't get it to come out. And then when it finally did, it was too much. And then I had to do the same exact amount of khaki to try to get the color that I wanted on there. Um, once you find a brown color that is to your liking, this is the colors that I mixed together that I ended up liking. And I feel like it's this, this actually might be like a little bit lighter than what I use. So maybe use a little bit more of the darker color instead, but just make sure that you give it a, a, a really, really, really good mix up on there. Also, just another snippet, just, just clean as you go with acrylic paint because like it never fails. You can try to clean it up as much as you can, but it just, it ends up getting everywhere in this whole process. <laughs> so the stamp and polish that I chose to use was Maniology Straight Up Black. Um, I prefer to coat the entire surface area of the actual stamp that I'm using. I feel like that's what works best for me. I've seen others that only do halfway, but you just do it however you're used to. This is just what I'm doing for this one right now. Also, um, the stamper that I'm using is probably my favorite stamper that I've ever had from Maniology before. I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Then you'll just want to scrape off the excess polish, pick up your stamp, and then you'll want to position it over the nail bed however you want it to look on there. Um, the swatch stick is bigger than my natural nail bed, and so I feel like this didn't cover as much area as I had wanted it to, but you'll see, like I do, um, I, do I think I do more brown on this one than I actually did on my nails, and it's just, just to try to fill in that extra space that you have there. And then after this draws probably 30, 30, 45 seconds, you'll want to go in and start to apply your, um, your, uh, the brown paint. I'm sorry. <laughs> you'll want to start applying the brown paint to just pretty much just wherever you think that it's going to look best, you know, just like think camouflage and just like, it's always kind of random anyways. And so just, I mean, just make it look good because whatever you do, it's going to look good anyways.
I'm happy with the placement on this. It's gonna take about two and a half to three minutes for the acrylic paint to actually dry. I'm just going back in here to make sure that everything is good and dry before I actually apply the base coat because I don't want the acrylic paint to transfer to my brush for my uh, gel base. I'm using Kiara Sky's base gel and um, you'll just want to make sure that you follow the instructions that's on any any base gel that you use. Uh, this Kiara Sky takes 30 seconds to cure. See you back in a second. Okay, so once that's done curing, you'll want to go back in with your um, gel matte top coat. I love this gel top coat. It is a uh, Koopa Gelfinity, and it's amazing. You'll want to make sure that you get a good amount on the brush because you'll want to kind of do it like a little thicker. That way you can make sure that after it's done curing, you can't see any of the brush strokes. Um, the Koopa takes about 60 seconds to cure. And then once it's done here and you are done with your mani. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Um, <laughs> this is probably my favorite nail design that I've ever done before. I am camo obsessed. It's not even funny, y'all. Um, but with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. Bye.